Amen. Pastors, come forward. Yeah. Look at how many pastors are there. All of you Kuchamu come forward. Bill. All pastors come forward. This has been following me. You can face people. This pastors. What are they telling you? Among them, they, I have my spiritual sons. Among them. Clippers for this pastor. These pastors are telling you that there's God here. God bless you. Today I will pray for you. I will pray for you. What you are here for, let it happen. <laughs> come, my son, come. I will pray for you. I just want to pray. I want this boy to be like my son. I once, I once prayed in Jesus' name. Can you just come? I want this man to be. Help him. Help him. Hey, Jesus' name. It's better I pray for pastors. Come, the wife. Come, the wife. Can you just stand up, my brother? Touch your chest. Jesus' name. Uh. Come, my brother. Can you stand up, brother? I wish you don't worry about your wife because you are worried Thank you very much. <laughs> because if it goes like this, you can end up divorcing. Uh, because you, sometimes you wish to divorce. It's yes, not true. It's true. Come. Come. Help him, help him, brother. Bring them, bring two. Let me pray for you people here. So who want to be a prophet here? You want to be, you want to be a prophet? Try to stand. Look at Jesus' name. What do you want to be a prophet with Jesus God? I will touch you here. Look at me, all of you. Receive the grace. Receive the grace. Receive the grace. Say I receive. Say I receive. Say I receive the grace. Say, say it again. Say it again. Say it. Carry on talking. Something will happen to you when you are talking. Jesus name. Jesus name. I destroyed this thing in your stomach. I want to destroy this thing that is in your stomach here. In Jesus name. You are free. Say I receive the grace. God bless you. I will pray for you later. Go and sit down. I want to tell you why I say your enemies will bow rise I'm referring to you. You hear me?
Amen. Enemies will bow. These people that want to remove you from work, they will be ashamed. Amen. You, understand? you will end up knowing all of them and go will fight them. You Amen. Amen. So this ministry will grow. Yeah, this ministry will grow. Yes. This thing that you are feeling on the side is giving you a problem. It comes and go. Yes. Eh? comes and go. Eh? So today I remove it in Jesus' name. Let me... When I'm praying for you, I saw, I saw your friend. You understand? You understand? So you must not trust any friend. Okay, okay. It's something that is telling you all the time. Don't trust friends. Yes, that is true. Eh? That is true. It tells you don't trust friends. Yes. Thing that is coming in the air to attack this woman, mm. it has stopped now. Mm. You hear me? Yeah. Sometimes you feel like you are coming out of your body. Mm -hmm. eh? Yes, sir. You feel like you are coming out of your body. Yes, sir. Careful of spirit of lust. Amen. Dad. You hear me? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, Dad. Eh, from this false prophet. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Wednesday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T. E. Maganenisa. Today during the service, the Apostle located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. No, he told me I should be careful of the spirit of lust. Then he prayed for me concerning that. And are you aware of what the apostle is talking about? If yes, please elaborate. Yes, yes, yes. I'm fully aware. Uh, my dad was a man with children just all over the place. So now that he's late, I every time see him in my dreams coming to, to say, take another wife, take another wife, take another wife. So it has been opening time and time again. Now, personally, I've been managing to contain it. I've not really acted on it, but it has really been a concern. It has really been a concern where women are just interested, even when you're not interested. Yes, so that's what has been happening. And how do you feel that today the Apostle located you and ministered upon your life? I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm a free man. You must forgive. Yes, daddy. Yes, daddy. Sometimes when you pray, it comes to you very hard. Yes, I will forgive, daddy. Huh? Just forgive. Yeah. This, this dream you have dreamed of a very tall person. Yes, huh? Yes. Did you see that tall person? Yeah, I saw him, huh? but I couldn't see him. You could not see the end. Yes. Huh? Yes, it's true. Huh? And you're asking, what is this? Yeah, I was asking myself, huh? is this a person or what is this? So God, God is visiting you. <laughs> Brother, there's a demon you're fighting. Yes. yes, sir. There are people who try to initiate you. Oh. <laughs> Lift him up. You are aware of what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. They try to initiate you. Eh? Yes, sir. You need to confess to be free. Are you ready to confess? Eh? Come on, Holy Spirit. Because when I look at you, bring him here. They, they wanted to make you a, a false prophet. Brother, 
Look at me. Are you ready to confess? Yes, sir. Huh? Yeah, there are the people from my church where I lead. Huh? Yeah, the people from the, the church that I lead. I wanted to initiate you. There's a spirit here. That spirit must leave you. Come on. What are you doing to him? Where do you want to initiate him? I want you. Huh? I want him to fail. You want him to fail? I want him to fail. But you know he's called. Yes. What, why do you want him to fail? Because I can't hear you. Huh? Why do you want him to fail? You spirit. Bring this man to me. Why do you want him to fail? Huh? Why? You want him to do it? To fail. Jesus, then. Leave him. It's free today. His life, sir. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Oh, my name. My, uh, greetings in the wonderful name of, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, my name is Defo George Mohodisa. I'm a prophet by calling. And I'm from Free State, Zamdela Sasolbek. So today during the service, the apostle located you and ministered upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, so, the apostle has been leading There's a church that is a leader. And there are people in the church who came recently in my church who are busy. Uh, when, when I minister something, then they, they will go after people and tell them the, the wrong things about me actually they want me to fail so what actually what the apostle was saying it was very very true because they want me to fail they want me to be babatla or kibe uh a legal kamuruti kapo a prophet eling asiena kwa fake yes so kin net is usual same up uh apostola nangasbu yes and how did that affect you and your ministry? It affected the whole because many people they left the church, and even my marriage now uh, there's a problem in my marriage because they even came to my family, they came to my house, and they say things about us, me and my wife, and the church. Even in the community, they are saying many things about me and my family and and the church as well. And how do you feel that today the apostle located you and ministered upon your life? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I thank God for what happened today because I feel delivered and I feel I felt the power of God upon my life and I thank God, I thank God for everything that He has done for me today. I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm happy that I'm free. Amen. Bring that man. You must overcome this spirit of your family. God chose you from wrong people. True. Eh? Very true. He chose you. He wants to use you. Very true. These people are using charms. Very they, true. They, they don't have respect of anyone. Very true. Eh? Very true, he Apostle. Chose you. Yes. So you must be prayerful. Amen. You hear me? Amen. In his life, sir. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? My name is Apostle Sam Mogoni. I'm from Limpopo in Lubuahomo. So today during the service, the Apostle located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, I'm here to confirm that uh, I was born in a family that does not believe God. And uh, God chose me out of them. And uh, they believe other gods, which is not the one that I'm believing in. And then they have been fighting me for the, the gospel, the, the belief that I've believed in. So that's why there was no peace between me and them. Yes. So what the apostle has said is totally true. And how did that affect you? 
he, 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 he actually brought a lot of uh, uh, distraction to me because I nearly, nearly gave up the ministry uh, uh, just to be a member of a church uh, because I did not have any support from my family. But I thank God today that I am delivered from whatever ways they were saying against my God. Yes. This is a demon, brother. This is a demon. You want to have kidney? Yes, eh? yes, yes. You, you, you have got kidney yes, failure. Yes, yes, eh? yes. Did you go to the doctor? I never go to the doctor, but I know I have you a know problem. problem. It is here. problem, yes. And you feel like this From 2016, you. yes. Eh? yes. In Jesus' name. Come on. This demon wants to kill you. Come on. Test yourself, brother. You are healed. Eh? Headache also. This place, Amen. you are gone now. And the headache also. Eh? And the headache also. Yeah, it was caused by this. this Amen. Thing. In fact, you are supposed to be blind. Amen. Amen. Sometimes because Sometimes you can't see. Yeah, sometimes I was having that problem not seeing at all. Eh? I was thinking even it's a high blood. No, it's not high blood. It's this kidney failure. So you are free today. Amen. Test yourself, you see. Lift that man. Yeah, do like that. In fact, jump because you have never jumped. Oh, you see now. How do you feel? I feel very good. Uh -huh. I feel very good. Yes, sir. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Um, my name is Endel Sawata Sitole, Apostle yes. Endel Sawata Sitole, all the way from Sasolbeck. Yes. So today during the service, the Apostle located you and ministered upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, he talked about the, the, kick, the, the kidney problem, the kidney failure. Yes, I was having that uh, problem of kidney failure since from 2016 or 17, if I'm not sure. Yeah, but it was around 2016, yeah, later 2016, till now. But it was on and off, and so he told me about it. And also the problem of not seeing clearly on the eye. Sometimes it will, grow, it will go up, this thing. And then it will make my eyes not to see. Probably I was thinking that it's high blood. No, it's not the high blood. And it just confirmed that it was that demon, that spirit, that of kidney failure. Amen. That one to kill me. Yes. And so how do you feel that today the apostle located you and delivered you from this? I'm feeling very happy that I uh, received my deliverance. In actual fact, I came for it and I knew that when I come here, the Lord will allocate me by his spirit. The men of God allocate me and then he prayed for me and I'm delivered and I thank the Lord so much. Amen. Amen. What I do here to this man? Huh? Huh? Why are you blocking him? Uh, I don't know if you are a pastor. You, you are. Lift up. Lift him up. What this problem is stopped today. You hear me? Amen. Eh? Amen. Did you tell your husband? Yes. He said what to us? He huh? knows about it. Huh? He knows. He knows this thing. Yeah. This is affecting your affection. Amen. You understand? Lift up. Come on. Come on. Ouch. Huh? Well, come on. Come on. Come on. Ouch. When she sleeps, she sees snakes. Yeah, she's getting more attacks. In fact, there's attacks that come to her. Mm, more attacks. Put your mic here. What is happening? Come. Oh, my Come. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Prophet Sunkona from Soweto. And the man next to you? And the man next to me is my husband, Prophet Kun. 
Today during the service, the Apostle located you and ministered upon your lives. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. The Apostle that there is something in my stomach and this thing has to stop today. So I confirm it's true because this thing started when I was young. I can say my mother said uh, since she was pregnant, so I was born with it. So I'm glad today that I'm delivered. And how has this been affecting you? It affected me a lot because uh, most of the time it will happen during at night and sometimes mostly during the day, but mostly at night it will affect me. So since my primary school, high school, it was like that. And so how do you feel that today the Apostle located your family and ministered upon your lives? I feel great because of uh, once I received the touch of... Uh, God through him, I, f I believe that all things shall be well with our lives. And the way he spoke to my wife, I understood that indeed when God speaks, no one can deny it. So I, according to what he said, I, it was clear that prophecy is something that God can speak through him. And I am glad that today he located straight where there is a problem. And we are glad that today we are free. You have a demon. Bring her. What are you doing here? Huh? What are you doing here? Come on. Uh -huh. Come on. It's your wife. Huh? Were you aware your wife is having a demon? Yeah, I was praying for her. Then the spirit said, I mustn't bring her here. This is why I brought her here. That's why you brought her here? Yes. So let's put a mic there. <laughs> So, now, ask a question. What are, you, what are you doing? They can never prosper. They can never prosper. Huh? They can never prosper. Especially her. Never. She's seeing you in your dreams these days. Why are you saying she, she will never prosper? Because she rich. She is rich. I'm holding her. So you put what in her stomach there? Mm, huh? Eczema. Eczema. Huh? Eczema. 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 So eczema. Yes. And what is the reason you put this thing? She mustn't touch money. So remove your eczema. Can you leave her? Remove your things. Leave this brother. Life, ma'am. Kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Yeah. My name is Yvette. I'm from Jopek. Today during the service, the apostle located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, I confirm the prophecy the man of God gave me to be true because I've been suffering with eczema since 2018. Whenever I get a job or whenever I do a business, my hands start to, to develop rashes. Even now you can see that. They still here, you have the thing. It just came out when I recently got a job again in January. And how is that affecting you? It is affecting me because my, my, my bosses, they, most of them, they tend to chase me out of work. So I only work for three months, but this my job is the fourth month I'm entering into. And the thing is attacking again. And how do you feel that today the Apostle located you and ministered upon your life? I feel very relieved and delivered because I've been praying for such a time like this that the man of God should just lay his hands on me and this thing would go forever. Brother, how you become a pastor is questionable. Oh. Eh? Yes. Uh, even yourself, sometimes you question yourself if you're a pastor or not. It's true. Because of how you became. So can you forget the past? Is there you will overcome this thing that is in your legs. You are free today. In Jesus' name.